Second intermission here at the McGinnis Student Nicer in, in Houghton, Michigan. It's 3-2 Michigan Tech through 40 minutes. And we usually have these pre-recorded features that are great entertainment for everybody, but you kind of lose the atmosphere at buildings like this. And in college hockey, it is all about atmosphere. There is nobody who does it better than the Michigan Tech pep band. So we're going to take a short break in the middle of the period, and we're going to come back for one of the great traditions in college hockey. You'll hear public address announcer Mitch Lake explain the whole thing. And maybe if you're standing at home and you're familiar, or even if you're not, you can join in from wherever you are watching the game tonight. These guys are ready, right? Yeah. I mean, they don't look it now, but they're saving some energy because they're going to need it for the third period. 3-2 Michigan Tech through 40. This is college hockey CCHA type presented by Boss Snowplow here tonight on Fox UP and the Gray TV Network. And part of the atmosphere here is Time this. now for a Michigan Tech tradition that goes back longer than the Michigan Tech Northern hockey rivalry. More than 70 years. Let's have everyone get up on your feet. Move to the center of your aisle. Lock arms with your neighbors, even if they're from Marquette. As the Michigan Tech Pep Band plays the Copper Country Anthem. Public address announcer Mitch Lake for getting us in there. If you need a little more of the backstory, because it's almost Winter Carnival Week here, Mark Evans, here's how this goes. Frankie Yankovic, the polka king, was here playing Winter Carnival. And for a week leading up to it, all you could hear on the radio station in town, WHDF, was polka music. So when they finally got to the games at the old D Stadium, the announcer says, I'm so tired of this. They're going to play another polka, aren't they? Ladies and gentlemen, this is now the Copper Country Anthem. And everyone stood up, and they all swayed back and forth. And almost 80 years later, it is one of the great traditions in college hockey that when you hear that song, the Blue Skirt Waltz, it has meaning for everybody around the sport. In fact, I had a friend who was a college hockey writer in Minnesota text me that he heard the Blue Skirt Waltz just randomly somewhere and was instantly transported in his mind to the second intermission at the McGinnis Student Ice Arena and the Copper Country Anthem. I lived in Minnesota for a while. They still have full-time polka stations over there. <laughs> they do. 